Hello and welcome back to Orthographic Drawing. This is manual sketching, just looking at shape block number two. Again, we're going to use that uh, gridded sheet paper behind. That's roughly 20 millimetres squares behind. And we're going to look at this new six cube combination. It's three tall, two deep and one thick. And we're going to look in the direction of the arrow shown there, just to get the elevation. It's going to show the most detail, I think, in this particular view. It's two squares or two cubes uh, wide and three high. So we're just going to sketch out a box within which we're going to try and build up that elevation view, that front view in this particular case. So we've now got the, the horizontal and vertical lines lightly sketched using the shoulder. Technique, drawing from the shoulder. I'm going to try and put in the, the points. We've got a, a little cut out there. There's, a, there's one missing from the right hand side. So I'm just firming in lightly where that uh, missing block would be. And then the slope that goes from corner to corner. One square high, one square in from the back right hand corner to take that slope. There's a similar slope at the top going in the opposite direction. So turning the page again, making it a little bit easier to get that angled line sketched in. And it looks a little bit, a little bit like a, a house ridge. Same idea with a sloping line down to the left hand side. So from that top ridge, another 45 degree line. And that gives us the basic outline of that view. What we'd likely to see if we're looking at right angles and an orthographic idea at the front, what we're going to call the front of that object. We can firm in the lines. And I think... Fairly straightforward, you can see how that's building up a reasonable representation of the three-dimensional drawing, the perspective drawing that's representing above. Firming in, she gives a, a good idea. Now we've got to think of the other views because the other views aren't quite so clear. This is the main elevation. It gives us most of the information. I'm just checking around about what we've got. So the side view, that's going to be one square or one cube deep. So just separating the two views, projecting the baseline across, then the top. So the top's going to have a, a line three squares high. We're going to put the sides on this. So it's a front and a back as you look at that. If you remember the drawing of the snowmen, they're all looking in the way. So we've now got this outside edge. And we're going to see at least one line here, just that little slope from that position across, projecting across. And there'll be a firmed in line going in there. So there'll be a two square and a one square sort of stack on the left hand side. And very much that was what you'd see if you're looking at the left hand side. But the top one is sloping. That view does not tell us that. It simply tells us where the top and the bottom are and the width of it. But it doesn't tell us the slope. It's the elevation. That first view that we drew that gives us the information about the slope. Had we uh, lines to show detail that's hidden, and we'll introduce those later on, we may have something else to add to that end view because there's something hidden around the back there that might make it a little bit clearer to understand. So what have you left? Top view. And it's going to be one square from front to back and two squares wide. So we're just putting a position this now. We're going to get the front line of that uh, top view and the back is so one square further back. So this is going to give us the rectangle. These are all based around rectangles at the moment. We'll get a bit more complex later on. So we're going to have the two outside lines. And in the middle, again, it's a little bit like a, a house ridge. We've got that line going across. Again, that top view tells us something. Looking at it without any previous experience, you might just think it's two rectangles. But because we're knowing a little bit more, learning a little bit more about this orthographic sketching, we should understand that those two, rect those two squares are actually sloping surfaces. Longer than a square. Uh, at the top of this particular object. So there we have it. We've got two drawings. Have a go in the next one yourself.